Hello friends and once again welcome to BISPSolution.com My name is Amit and today I am going to show you how to add new cost of sales in Oracle Enterprise Planning and Budgeting Cloud Service in Financial Module. So this is going to be a hands-on session. I will show you right from login to adding new cost of sales. So my requirement is um, as a part of my customization of my financial module I need to add new cost of sales the name of new cost of sales is cost of indirect labor to my application since enterprise planning and budgeting is a pre-built application therefore there is a certain order and structure in which you are supposed to add these members so before you add this member where does it appear the moment you log into the cloud instance and when you go to financial module under revenue the desktop itself we have first option called cost of sales you can expand this and see so right now I have got five cost of sales and you see these are predefined because it start with OFS in case you need to add your own cost of sales how would you add this so once you added new cost of sale it will appear over here so there's a predefined interface given under application configuration select the configuration module as financial module and it is basically revenue account therefore I go to revenue account and from the category list select the cost of sales and existing cost of sales are available over here they are predefined and these are configured during application configuration you can add individual one or two member or in case you need to add multiple cost centers simultaneously you can export and import as well you can export import as well as batch in this example as I need to add only one cost of sales I can simply click on add and define cost of sales member so the name of my cost of sales is cost of sales indirect labor define the alias name cost of indirect sales indirect labor define time dimension I would time balance property I would continue to use as a flow and data storage property store and this is a currency type save it because you modify application structure after modifying application structure you are required to refresh your database to get this changes impacted into your application click on refresh database and create on refresh you can submit the job or do it right away I'm going to do it right away so refresh will take few minutes maybe one or two minutes we'll wait for this to complete as you see the refresh is done we can see the newly added member cost of indirect labor would appear under my dimension structure so you have got two options to navigate this you can go to dimension under navigator dimension select your cube this is my financial cube so I select OEP FS and this is account dimension and it appeared under your OFS financial under revenue accounting and there are two members predefined revenue account under this only those member appear which you created during application configuration right so you see the newly added member does not appear over here cost of indirect labor it doesn't appear it actually appears under your gross profit cost of sales you are you cannot modify member directly from here you are suggested to modify member directly only from your control panel so as you see under OFS total cost of sales under this parent cost of indirect labor member appear over here it doesn't appear directly under predefined revenue account dimension member and once it got appear added you can see the member automatically appear within your financial under revenue in your dashboard 
So previously you used to have five members under cost of sales. You see there's another member added called cost of indirect labor. As it does not have any value, therefore it doesn't appear over here. So you can add value from indirect entry or direct entry. So from direct entry, you see the newly added member called cost of sales appear and your planner can directly input number over here. So this is how you can add new cost of sales. Do not modify your dimension story directly because it exposes you uh, the possibility of tampering the application structure. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching today's video. Should you have more questions, please feel free to write to us. This is our email ID and phone number. Thank you.